Hello friends, welcome to MVM TV. We are going to test out this um, $189 drone I purchased on eBay, refurbished Mavic Mini, $189. I just did a video on Maximum this flight altitude reached. drone um, a couple weeks ago, and uh, we'll leave a description for that in the comments. But um, yeah, $189 drone I purchased from eBay. You can't go wrong. But we're doing testing Battery here. Battery level is low. The aircraft we're will go to the home point sure in 10 seconds. Home. All right, and all that good stuff. Go home. There go home. Go. Drone's going to return to home. And as you can see, we're about 1,200 feet away, and the drone uh, breaks up. Strong wind, the low battery combined. See, it's only going eight miles an hour. You know, it's only going eight, nine miles an hour. It should be going 14 or 15 miles an hour here. When it hits this hill, man, that hill slows it down. Gives it a problem all the way down to six miles an hour. Jones supposed to be going about 14. And it gets past the hill almost. Yep, seven, eight, nine. Okay, 12. And okay. Found a spot where it can uh, get up to its 14 to 16 miles an hour. But uh, it is a strong wind. We're going to speed it up here. We're going to bring the drone down. All right. So when you get strong wind uh, warnings, guys, and you're on a low battery, especially, man, bring your drone back. Don't fly it. And strong wind, um, very good chance you can lose your drone. And I'll show you why in uh, just a couple minutes so we're landing the drone here and let me mention friends if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, please do so give the video a like it does help uh, of course you know the algorithm i'm not monetized or anything but that's the goal we're shooting for the fly app is requesting a compass calibration so we're going to spin her around just as uh, showed on the screen, compass calibrated. Going to shoot uh, 2.7K at 30 frames a second. Of course, with dull, dreary, gray scenery. Um, that's not what we're aiming here for today. We're aiming to show you take off. Um, the home point has how been your updated. drone can drift Please away in the wind, the and it's something that's uh, taken very lightly by a lot of people. And it was me. <laughs> I never. I never paid attention to strong wind warnings. I took the Mini 2 up to a height uh, in strong wind warnings. I had no clue that uh, something like this would actually happen, and it was pretty dangerous. <clears throat> but here we're going to, you know, we're just checking the settings. We're into the safety on the Fly app. Uh, we're making sure everything's in order, and we have everything set the way we want it. We're into the control section. And we're checking the advanced gimbal settings. Now we're going to lower the pitch speed and we're going to up the pitch smoothness. Now what that'll do is slow your camera down from the up and down movement. When you, when you move the wheel and you move the camera up and down, you want a nice pitch smoothness. So that's why you use those and you adjust those the way they are. So now we're just going to take off here. We're trying to uh, delete and deplete this battery while we're testing this drone to make sure that the drone's in good working order. I'm going to come up over the hill here, and we're going to fly up over the wires. And as you can see, we've got some high trees on the right. We don't want to go that way, so we're getting strong wind warnings. We go over to the left here. I'm just trying to kill battery. So we get over here to the farm, we got the sheep, and we're just going to hit return to home. And uh, we're Go checking home. the stability of the drone. We're across the street at the farm. Maximum flight altitude reached. Maximum flight altitude max altitude. reached. The drone shoots straight away back home because it's going with the wind, 17, 18 miles an hour. No problems there. And we're going to uh, land the drone. We're in position mode. Uh, sped it up a little bit so we can get through this part here. Down to 74%, 24 minutes. Battery's lasting in this cold weather. And drone comes down. And 
that comes right down where it's supposed to. So we killed some battery. We're going to uh, take off again straight up, straight away here. And go to the left. We're going to go out about uh, 300 feet here. And we're just going to test the return to home again. Okay, so we're just going to hit uh, return to home. And watch the drone come back. You have to make sure that your drones are reliable, guys. And this is where you test them, out in open fields. You know, when you're out there in the field uh, and you're shooting um, and you, you're in a great spot and you're trying to capture good video, uh, you want to know your surroundings. Are there hills? Are there trees? Uh, what's the wind like? Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, what direction you travel in? And everything is so important. You have to be sure that you um, keep your eye out and, and listen and and see every um, possible um, hazard. So the jump came home, came back fine there, and uh, we're going to land it. Uh, we're down to 60%, 19 minutes. So we quickly land it. We're going to take off with the same battery here. The home point and has been updated. Please check it on the map. Updated home point and there's a dog here man this dog wanted to get the drone man he was eager to get at that drone he wasn't barking but he's like <laughs> yeah he was wanting to get that drone <laughs> that was pretty funny so anyway we're going to test a quick shot real fast we're going to just do a circle and uh, we'll speed it up so that it's Three, not long and drawn out two, i'm not trying to draw out the one. video guys but you know, it is very important that you understand that when you've got strong wind warnings, man, you've got to bring your drone back. Don't risk. It's not worth it. So here you see the quick shots are working. You know, no problem. Again, I want to be out in the field. I want to know if my quick shots are working. You know, I'm not a pro. Uh, it's, it's a little rougher for me to get uh, these cinematic shots. So I'm out here testing the drone to make sure the master shots work. Uh, again, I got this drone $189 on eBay. So if you don't have a Mavic Mini, no matter how many drones you got, man, $189. And eBay, you know, a lot of people getting rid of them. Uh, cheap now, the Mavic Minis. DJI ain't producing them anymore. So, again, here, we're still trying to um, deplete the battery. We're down to 32%, about 8 minutes. And lo and behold, we've got a couple on a bench out in the middle of nowhere. Cold weather. Look at who knows what they're doing. Look, he's hiding something. Now he noticed the drone. He's like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, so I go up higher and I back up a little bit. You see we're up over a little over 100 feet here. So I draw a box on these two. I'm like, heck, I'm just gonna see, you know, check out here. And because when you're in the in the field, you see something and you want to get a cinematic shot of. Man, you can just Three, <coughs> excuse me, two, you can hit um, one quick shots and draw a box, and there you go. But now you see we're getting strong wind warnings. I mean, it's, the wind is really strong, but you know, I don't notice anything serious. And you know, it's not taking away the drone. There's nothing. Uh, you know, as usual, every time I get a strong wind warning, I ignore them. But no longer. I am not going to um, <laughs> ignore a strong wind warning any longer. And I don't suggest that you um, do that either. So we're going to land the drone here. We're down to 23%, 6 minutes. Again, 23 um, percentage left on the battery, about 6 minutes. So I'm like, heck. You know, it's still green. I'm just going to take it for one more quick flight. Test the return to home. You know, when the drone forces me to land, I'm going to turn it around and uh, finish the battery and go home. So we hit record and we take off. And battery level is low. Right away. The aircraft will go to the home point right away, in 10 we seconds. Get low battery. Return to home. Confirmation. Strong winds. Low battery. Go so, home. I'm going to let the drone do its thing and come back home. When you get low battery and the drone wants to come back, man, let your drone come back. Do not hit cancel, guys. Do not hit cancel. And that I know, so that I did. And here we go. The drone goes up to the Maximum 185 feet reached. that I have it designated for. The drone starts coming forward very slowly, about three, four miles an hour. Comes back in to about 300 feet. 
you see the car's right there. I mean, I'm right there. I mean, you can see the car, and I'm not far. And here's what happens. Low battery, strong wind, the drone starts drifting away. I have no control. The drone is on its own. I'm pushing down on the left stick. I'm trying to bring the drone down. I know I can get out of the wind if I can bring the drone down to no avail. Now it's going backwards about 7 miles an hour. 5, 3, 2. And I figure, okay, maybe it's going to come back now. But no. Drone starts backing up some more. And you'll see it here. Here it goes. Starts going back again. 187 feet. So I put the map up because now I know I'm in trouble. Pushing down on the left stick, forward, full throttle on the right. I'm panicking now. I'm hitting return to home, anything to get the, tr the drone back and to no avail. The drone is on its own. It's a, it's a lost renegade and it's on its own. Going back, back, back. It's going back slow because I'm pushing forward on the stick trying to get it, you know, back to me. But to no avail, you know, so it goes into uh, low battery landing here. Now it's going to force the drone to land. Critically low battery. But the wind is so strong, the thing Maximum don't even want to land in a forced landing. And so you can see that well, I was pushing down on the stick, so now it comes down a little bit. And I figure, okay, great. All right, it's coming to me now. It's coming back to me slowly, but surely it's coming back. But then all of a sudden, boom. Say goodnight, Irene. It starts going back. And I'm thinking, oh, God, it's going to come down way back there. I'm going to have to drive around, see where it is in the parking lot. I'm like, oh, no, this is not good. We're down to 27 seconds. <laughs> We're totally red. The drone's about to totally die out on me. Maximum and I'm very happy Delta that I can still <laughs> get to it at 800 feet, way up the hill, though. I don't want to walk up this hill. So I'm frantically pulling down on the stick, pushing forward, forward, forward. Drone still ain't coming. It gets down about 90, 80 feet and eventually starts coming forward. Now we hit zero absolutely drain the battery down to zero and pushing up on the stick to keep the drone up trying to coast it down the hill bring it to me and here it comes and it's coming down finally thank god it's still in the <laughs> it's still on the field and it drops right there at about 556 feet so I'm real Critical happy that battery. the drone landed where I know it is, and I can walk over to it. Thank God. So here you see me. I'm the round, the blue uh, round thing. That's your controller. And because the drone still has power, the map has stayed up. You don't have to go in to find my drone. So if you can find your drone quickly, when the batteries drain down to zero. <laughs> Then you'll see the map, but that was futile. Did you see I tried to <laughs> take off? <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, here I'm walking towards the drone. I'm lifting up the camera, hoping I could see myself in the screen, and then I would walk straight toward the camera, but or toward the drone. But yeah, eventually I get over to the drone, and um, all is well. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, again, I want to tell you guys, man, do not fly in strong wind warning. Bring your drone down because there is an example. You can lose your drone. It will drift away from you. Uh, 